the uh, favourite? That chicken. You think the two would win? win? Vexed luminary or one clucky boy? Uh, one lucky boy, mate. There's a picture of Dom. Uh, not Dom. Jenko. That was Jenko on the night out when he was uh, travelling away, wherever he was at. What? Oh, what, on Dom's picture? Yeah, that was yeah, him yeah, waking yeah, up. Yeah. What is Adam's profile picture? Did we ask this question last week? What on God's name is that? Um, Wait, what was that, Potter? <laughs> yeah, I can't remember what it is, though. Yeah. Oh. Picture of a giant banana man trying to open a phone. I see. What is Ozzy's picture? Where's Ozzy? Go back. Is that Ozzy? No, it's someone in a. It's, a, it's like a TV. It's like an it's old like computer a screen. Monitor in a, yeah. On the side of a row with two hands holding it, coming out of a swimming pool. It's weird, mate. We've Pickles seen some weird gone. things. Yeah, Pickles one's cute. Wolfie is one of the. It's not. Is that Ben from Tom and Jerry? One of the other mice, not Tom. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Is, is he dead? I can't see his screen. But anyway, we'll talk about the profile pictures in a second. Pickles on the one versus two as he finds the first frag into this one. Luminary still unable to plant the bomb as of yet. Hype just played the last game. That cannot be right. No, it's a, all right. <laughs> okay, so you don't know about this. We've got one Hype that is Hype is back, who's now just Hype. Okay. And there's a new Hype called Minus Hype. No. This, yeah, this is a different Hype. Who is this guy? Minus Hype, I don't know. Did you say Tom and Jerry? Yeah, that's... For that's, Hype? No, for Wolfie. Where's Wolfie? That, oh, that, yeah. That's, uh, what's his name? Master whatever from Kung Fu Panda. Panda, yeah. From Mr. Pandaria, the uh, World <laughs> of Warcraft <Yeah>. expansion. <laughs> oh, that's a good movie. Yeah. That was a good movie. To be fair, Mr. Pandaria is pretty good as well. It was a good expansion. It went downhill I from liked there. It. it went downhill I from there. I think Siege of Ogremar was quite weak. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, overall, I think it was a good expansion. Visually, very pleasing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought the best was Cataclysm in terms of playing. Like and Huh? Yeah. I don't know. I thought Wrath was still the best. Like yeah, that. PvP was sick back then. But uh, anyway, what's sick right now is Truth's headshots with those deagles. As he does find one frag, Wolfie unable to help, help, help and aid his team as it all falls down to Truth. Yep. Two, two, zero as Vex falls short. And actually Vex right now, two... Well, the question is, did they, they win their game offline? That's where the are they going to be if they lose this in the stand? Nah, they're not going to finish last. I think... Royals are certified last. Yeah, but... Oh, maybe not. Hang on, what's the score? 6-6. Six, six. But then Vex won in the head-to-head, -head, so I think they cannot... They're still not going to have a good seed, though. Yeah, it's true. They're going to be really... You know, they've got a slog ahead of them. They'll play versus out. Endpoint. Oh, that's good, mate. I'm up for that one. Anyway, back to the eco here from Vex as they charge down towards middle. Find two frags. was fairly decent in terms of economical damage dealt to Luminary. But apart from that... $7,000 in the bank from Minus Hype. What are we going to call him? Minus Hype. Negative Hype. Negative Hype, yeah. Negative Hype. It's like Hype from an alternate dimension, but he's got a moustache, so you know he's evil. Maybe. Hype is a really nice guy. Hype is back Hype. Yeah. It's just known as Hype. Yeah. And then there's Minus Hype. Minus Hype. It, it, it catches you off guard. Or Dash Hype. No. Uh, that's got the same ring to it, has it? Dash Hype. Well. They go for this fast play up on the A site. Minus Hype gets the first on Aussie Minus. Pickles will take down Minus Hype. And Mace, small bracket, <laughs> will be able to get another kill there as well. So far, it's looking good here. Four Luminary towards the A-bomb site. Dom, spots out the shot from Truth. Does lose out on that duel. No diffuse gift from the CT side, so there's a clock on this reset for Vex. They have to make a move quick. Vanity coming up mid, just going to be waddling his way through. Adam is just waiting to attempt to punish him. Oh, Vanity finds the initial frag, though, with a Famous. Cray smokes off the site, launches out the flashbang as well. This should be a fourth round for Luminary. They have no idea of the location of Mace as well. He tries to spray him, but unfortunately, he couldn't quite do it. But they do still get the round anyway. Wolfie and Truth sprint out of there. That's a fourth round picked up now for Luminary. They're on an absolute tear on their T-half to kick this one off. Snuds coming in hard and fast against Vexed. Round number five then. Vexed can go for a bit of a quasi-buy off the back of the two saved rifles. They're 
round loss bonus is going to be fairly high at $2,900 after conceding four rounds in a row. Which means they do have upgraded pistols, backed up by utility, backed up by Kevlar as well to aid the buy of the save of the M4s. So they have a chance into this one, a fighter's chance. But so far, default from Luminary, two towards Banana, up towards middle, and then two players outside apartments. So very standard default coming out here from Lumino. Slowly taking Banana control, whether the players take apartments control. And then we see Hype with the two flashbangs can flash mid if the player's in apartments to peek from Boiler and take mid control with the smoke arch. And then he can also flash Banana for the two Banana players. So the map does work in tangent. However, Luminary not quite pressing their advantage just yet. Maybe anticipating more CT aggression early on. So Luminary. They got themselves four rounds. Can they make it a fifth? Vex, they don't really have too much in terms of the buy. Two M4s, two Deagles, a CZ, a smoke, a Molotov and a flash thrown in there for good measure, just sprinkled on top. A Luminary, though, playing it very slow, trying to force out as much as they can from Vex before they go for this commit. The only man trying to keep them on their toes is Adam, 9130, over towards Banana. Thus far, a couple of warning shots, but the mass nades are now being nerfed towards mid. And they are terrified that it's going to be an A play, when in reality, it's going to be a backdoor in B. Cray. Alone towards the A site. Sold such a good fake here, as it's all down to Vanity. Failed smoke in towards Coils, though. That could be a moment here for Luminary to concede a few kills versus Vanity. And actually going to be hiding inside the smoke here. Dom, does he anticipate the play? No, he doesn't, but Adam's there on the rear to hold the line and hold the defense still. Oh my his goodness! Teammate as well with that play, Cray, in the one v two to try clutch it. Truth taps the bomb. Cray, oh, finds the first frag. Looks for the second. Just toys with Truth. He knows he has to try and just go for the full commit on the bomb plant. Absolutely outrageous. He's done it again. Five zero, and that round got pretty close, as you said. Nearly a team kill from Adam on towards Dom. Wolfie towards Ruin catches two players of guard with their fixation on Vanity inside the smoke. Nearly enough of a diversion of attention from Lumino for Vex to slip in and take that round. But that was just the saved and force and the maximum round loss bonus built up. So now they can go for the full out affluent buy. Warp onto Truth. And four M4s conclude the vexed buy as they are down 0-5. And Inferno is a map which can snowball this lead. If you have the advantage, the momentum, the utility in your advantage, you can definitely snowball to uh, a big lead. Yeah, you can get yourself into a really good position if you play your cards right. Wolfie, though, pushes up towards that 9130. Doubles down as he slays both of them in seconds. You've now got B-Site control. He's walked in, he's whopped out the bouncer, and he said, this is mine now. And then he uh, asked to switch bodies. And that was the key. And now I'm Chris Brown. Is that, what is that, like Freaky Friday? Yeah. All right, there we go. I thought you were just breaking from the heat, <laughs> just murmuring to yourself. I broke a long time ago. <laughs> just lost it all. Three versus three, Jack. Diffuse gift for Pickles. No Molotovs to flush out the peaks of the two players here, so they can hide towards Emo, they can hide towards back boxes. No reason to peek as of yet. Great. Another hat trick comes into the round. What's he at now? Like 13 kills already? 12. Oh my god. Cray, yeah, 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 yeah. As Harold once put it. Dead now, of course. Of course. Full time job now, of course. Of course. Jim now. Of course. Jim lad, of course. Tis the lad, isn't he? Oh, you are a beer lover. Loves the games, that guy. Tis the businessman. Yes, exactly. 6 0 in favor of Luminary. On paper, you would be giving the favorite to Vexed, who in this matchup have been slow starters. Just going to be the scout here for Wolfie. Signals exactly where that scout is located, and Luminary still hungry for more as they press down the orb. Truth with the first shot. Kills Hype. Soulcast with a response over onto Truth, though, as they get left in the 4v4. But the M4 they had that was the big set piece has been left. It's in no man's land right now. A double push coming from Library. They're going to sprint out, showing that knowledge is power as they find the first couple of frags. And it's up to Mace to try and shut them down and save the day now. He's got the bomb. He's on the site. A minute and ten on the clock, but he is completely surrounded. One versus two. 
Finds the first frag in towards Pip. Wolfie from the side, catches him off guard, and it's going to be the first round collected by Vexed. With the maximum round loss bonus, even without Kevlar as well for Wolfie, that could have been a seventh round for Luminary. But eventually the confidence allows them to let a round slip away. But Jack, it's the point we always make. The reset is on the cards for Luminary to dish that. Potential final blow. I mean, if they win this round here, Jack, 7-1. Ecos, four spies come out. We could be seeing a 9-1 scoreline. And with, you could argue, a CT side at maps such as Inferno, even though it's very close, that could spell the end here for Vexed. Only one round secured, and they need to make it multiple in a row. Pickles waiting for the push to come his way as Cray goes for the Krauss face, gets the early tag off as they do slightly adjust in. Wolfie as well, just hides, waiting for this push to come up as they are going to develop themselves. Pickles with the M4, needs to go to town. Nothing there. You felt like that should have been so much better, really. It just looks awkward. I mean, the bomb's going to go down. You know, 5v3, they're getting spammed. Can't push with the smoke. Just to save. Yeah, they have to save it. With the reset on the cards, the A site and the domain of Luminary, they have two Molotovs they can rotate towards Arch. That's 12 seconds off of the bomb. Plus the smokes as well. Again, that could be added up to 30 seconds off the bomb. So Vexed will be throwing in the tower here and concluding to a 1-7 scoreline. Aussie shooting towards Ruin means that Adam knows there's a player here. If he gets his timing right, could catch Aussie off guard, and he does just that. Vanity now last alive towards T spawn. 7-1. to one. Reset territory now for Vexed. As their cash is not looking good. So Vanity gets through with the M4. There's a flash, a smoke, and armor. His team have no cash at all apart from Aussie. They're all going to buy back into it. They're going to try and carry on, see if they can somehow actually get it together into this round and make it work. It's worth the risk. I mean, if you win the round, it is going to be tremendous for you, but it's going to be a very hard fought fight and it could be a pretty scrappy round as well. So Vanity and Aussie are the two main members to watch, really. I mean, Aussie, when he's on the ball, he definitely can perform in rounds like this. This is where you need a bit of the Aussie factor. Oh, of course. If you remember as well, the ESL Prem Finals, it was Aussie playing out of his mind to save many rounds for his team. He's got to do just that now. Mace coming in towards Arch. Spots the head from Truth. Another frag as well from Minus Hype. As it is the five versus three. Mace still collecting heads. Soul cast as well. Snatching souls. As it's all down to Vanity. And now the full reset comes through. Eight to one and a full eco for Vexed. Oh my goodness, Jack. These games have been, uh, apart from the last one, very one-sided. You can't help but wonder, is the fact that Quix isn't there making a major issue for them? You know, you've got no Quix. You don't have the brains of the operation. You've not got the IGL there. Is that causing things to fall apart a little bit? I'd say more on the T side. On the CT side here, unless Quix is calling every single setup on their CT side, which is, could be plausible, they need to make adjustments here. They need to take banana control, have presence towards the A side as well, rotate that extra player towards A, have an AWP potentially solo towards the A side, but Quix is their primary, sorry, the B side, but Quix is their primary AWP, so they can't leave him alone towards B. If they're going to have four players here towards the A side, they can either try their best to counter arch control or mid control from Luminary. Boost up behind the smoke potentially, or boost up towards quad, play the off angles, play counter flash, and try and wait for Luminary to walk into the trap towards middle. Maybe go for a, a double apps play, try and get that first frag in towards apartments, fall back and play a five versus four with the advantage. But either way, they have to fix up their rotations, have to fix up their setups as well. Pickles with the USP, spamming through the smoke, but obviously no one is there for them to connect onto their noggins. Everyone goes down. Pickles is the only one that remains. A little bit of a juicy tag. Cray is only on one HP, but it takes 100 to kill him. So they do all get through. Nine rounds for Luminary. Vexed, finally, with another buy. A purchase round. Luminary. One buy round away from double digits already. Five M4s, no Molotovs, and no Diffuse kits for Vex as they charge down towards middle. They're just running at them. Yeah, they're out of ideas. They've got nothing left. Maybe and build it. Yeah. 
Nine round advantage now for Luminary, and that lead may extend when you look at the cash here for Vexed. Nothing, literally nothing left in terms of ideas. They've tried to take Banana Control, they died to Adam. Both players actually died to Adam. Yeah. They've tried to take or keep on to mid control. Hasn't worked. Dom's owned them. And now they've tried just to rush down mid on a buy round. Granted that they are taking chances, but those chances and those risks are not paying the way forward for the hype of the wall bank. With the kill onto pickles. Soulcast collects even more frags towards B. Shaping up to be 11 1 here, Jack. And Luminary look unstoppable. They look like they're just storming ahead. Easily heads and shoulders above the competition right now. Wolfie will eventually find one frag on Prey. Grabs the AK but cannot slay with it. As Mace will hit him with a pepper spray. Ozzy. A man that can be ferocious. Normally has a fire burning in his heart. And definitely presents that in his style of CS. But today he is just being quiet. Will kill Mace though. And grab that weapon. But when he does... Should be slain by the orb, which he will. Goes down, sleeping with the fishes. 1 to 11. 10 rounds between these two teams. And they've been rapid rounds as well. This has been a fast game. It has been very, very swift. It's only 20 past 10 here, Jack. Vex trying to put us ahead of schedule, it seems. As we're going to round number 13. Double orb setup may be the difference that Vex were looking for. Luminary with a 10 round advantage may get too cocky, too aggressive, too audacious, and over peak. And oh my god, Jack, once again, the first frag is fouled by Luminos Luminosity. I've lost my mind, mate. I've lost my mind. Honestly, my marbles are gone. You've lost your box. Our uh, box has slipped. Against Vexed by Luminary, minus hype of the first kill. Fantastic. Um, so here we go. First comes out from Luminary. Cray finds the first. He cuts up the pickles. Puts him straight into the bin. The bomb will go down as well. Truth and Vanity get sniped up. Truth's going to be punished by the AWP of minus hype. Just Vanity and Wolfie that are left. And you can't help but feel like that is going to be a 12th round for Luminary. Day in, day out. Just finding success. Here. Oh, my goodness. Dom. This is what we were talking about earlier. Dom Don't save that AWP, yeah. Wolfie now has to try and save the ADVP going forward. Soul cast. Another frag for him. How many kills is Dom at right now? Cray was the one leading the charge earlier. Okay, it's still Cray. <laughs> Ignore me. I think it's Dom just gets those frags that the observer catches, that you see on the screen. But Cray has just been hella frags out of nowhere. Just yeah. going for big plays. Backing it up. He's confident. The thing is with Cray as well is it's not overly sort of, you know, projected from his personality. He's quite reserved. He's quite a chill guy. He'll just sit there. He'll play his rounds. He doesn't really, you know, give it as much. You see, you say he's quite reserved. Mm -hmm. Do you know what vehicle he drives? What does he drive? He drives a motorcycle. He has a collect... You um, said that like a, an unapproving father. No, 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 no. A motorcycle? <laughs> no, that's true. <laughs> but I meant more like he lives for the thrill. Oh, okay. He also has a collection of shoes as well in his house. Loves, I, he loves shoes. I think shoes. everyone has a collection of shoes. Loves shoes. But yeah, he's a, he's, a, yeah. he's a motorcyclist. He says that he enjoys cutting through traffic, driving fast. He is someone that does live for the thrills. So uh, even though his personality maybe doesn't show it, more of a uh, silent assassin as Ozzy struggles with the UMP and uh, instead just peppers down a three players to uh, low HP. An arcade and it keeps grabbing, you know, it's grabbing the toys and every time you think, oh, the toy's going to come over the side, I'm going to win it. It's like South every Korea, time. mate. Yeah. And I had to win all your uh, your stuffed animals for you. Mate, can you win me? Uh, can you win me the Charizard? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Mate, I came from Blackpool. <laughs> I'm ready for this. I know what I'm doing. Gosh, this game has been rather redundant, hasn't it? It's been quite fast. Yeah. I'm vexed. You would be, wouldn't you? Wait. Well, well, well. Luminary looking rather resolute and determined to win this matchup with style. Final buy round here. Vex may be mentally tapping out of this one as they lack their leader. Yeah. Dominic is giving it. So is Cray as well. 18 frags for him so far as all the players are just dying one by one towards this A site. All down to Pickles in towards Pip. Gets put it out. Loses the first angel. And now it's five oh versus one. This is really quite boring. They've had their Weetabix. Yep. <laughs> They've just annihilated them. That's a 14-1 half. 
on the T side. This could have been a 16 a Could have been. It definitely could have been. And now, Luminary GG. The GG in their name, of course. Uh, two rounds away from close this one up. If they win pistol, then uh, we're making it home early. I wonder if you could get a train. No, it's already 10.30, mate. Oh, uh, the last one's 9.50 or something, right? 9.40? Yeah. The, the trains have long gone. Oh, uh, what a shame. Well, wow. <laughs> it's a rapid half. I know, that took 20 minutes. Very, very uh, awkward. It is, you know, when you are casting these games, commenting the games, you want the matchups that are close, that you can get into, that you can enjoy. Uh, these are blowouts, and we've had a couple of them today. Well, I'm going to see if they can actually uh, bring it back or if this is just going to be the way it goes down. 14 to 1. We move on over now. Switch sides. How's this going to go? Uh, we'll see. Already into the buy, the buy round. The pistol round here flushes in towards Banana. As Lumino, the smart stack of three players there. Adam the CZ and Smoke towards Banana. Or should I say CT? Soulcast and Mace here as well. Adam finds one, trade it out. But do they anticipate the crossfire here towards the site? Oh, headshot comes through. Vanity is decked. Ozzy and Wolfie, though. Big round. They know how much this pistol means to them. It's very important. Wolfie still sniping through as well. Minus hype, unable to do too much. Tried to switch to his blade and give him a bit of the South London special, but instead he is dead. Your CD is dead. Go get a day job instead. Where's that from? Jamie. All right. Won't get another CD's back. Won't get another CD's back. Everything in your house. How does that song go? Won't get another CD's back. Something off the curtain. Something, something, so. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> something off the curtain. <laughs> what line's like, that? Line's that? <laughs> this ain't a par. I'm going to replace your curtains. What, <laughs> what have you gone for? What are you on about? Was this when Tempest came Get out the car, a this ain't a part. No, what is it? I can't remember. Dashery's, that was it, Dashery's CDs off the rack. Yeah, ain't gonna get none of these CDs back. Yeah, I don't know where the curtain... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about the curtain bit. Yeah. I have to leave next hype. Yeah. Well, speaking of hype, frag for him. This is the four versus four. Kevlar to three of the players here from Luminaries to have gone for the four spot, so maybe there's a chance here. However, vexed, scared to go towards the B side. That smoke will deter them momentarily as the push comes in towards second mid from Cray, gaining and gathering information towards the A half of the map as now the stack comes in towards the B bomb side from Lumino. So far, a great read. Solcath, big man Dominic, as he waits on the site with the Deagle. Backstab from Cray. He's going to get the whole way around them. They're trapped in now as well. Everyone is stuck in Banana. They have no way out. They can't go under it. They're going to have to go through it. Well, they've got the quarantine on lock here towards the B side as the push comes in. Only one flashbang for Wolfie, but apart from that, it's Soulcast to wreak havoc towards the B side with the Deagle. Two frags already trying to collect the last one. Instead, though, Cray from the side, swiveling, darting past the traffic, catches Truth on guard, on guard, off guard with a perfect timing. Wow. 15 to 2, Jack. This has been a blowout. Yeah, vexed. Um, Feeling vexed. So, what does, what does that leave them? Obviously, Radix were in the same group, I believe. No, actually. Okay, so Luminary now qualified for the playoffs. We Hot as well qualified for the playoffs. Ooh. Vexed and Royals, which team gets relegated with this loss? I don't know. We'll have a look at the final standings at the end. Yeah, so everything's true. been accounted for. Then it's all the... I'm going to take a look at it now, actually, while the round is still live, to see the head-to-heads. Because uh, Vexed are making a bit of a comeback into this one, at least. Trying to get the shots off, see if he can actually find a frag there towards mid, but Wolfie does go down. Cray. Has cut him to pieces with the AK-47. Vexed. One AK, one Mac-10 in the dream. All off the back of a flashbang from Vanity as they bombard their way through mid. They're going to try and hit them with the absolute barrage as Pickles finds the first kill. Adjusts his crosshair towards the cranium of Mace. A slip on the site. Truth looking a little bit lost there in the end. Does go down. Pickles might have just saved the day though, getting that frag on Cray. So they still need to plant the bomb. 2v2. 
to decide if they stay alive in the game or if they are going to be heading home a little bit earlier here from Inferno. Vanity looks to try and find a frag. The first push comes in. Pickles tags hype so low towards Mini Pit. Leaves him almost dead. 7 HP. As he is going to be staggered and weak. Adam as well goes down. There's the peek from Vanity to finish off hype. And Vex get themselves a third. So, Royals lost their offline game, off stream game, on. I'm not sure what map, but they did lose it versus Wind and Rain. Mm -hmm. The question is Did Vexed win their game off stream? So far, none of them have tweeted about it, which might mean they may have lost it. Let me take a look at the actual Vexed website. Um, ba -ba -ba. Nothing. Nothing at all. Wow. Well, we don't know, Jack. We're in the dark here. This is getting quite interesting. I, I wonder. Lost, huh? I think they lost their other game. Really? Well, they've tied 1-1. One, yeah. one. They lost their other game. Really? Yeah. But so did Vet. So did Royals versus Wind and Rain. So I'm not sure how this one's going to be dealt with. In terms of head-to-head, -head, they are evenly matched up. I guess it'll probably come down to a round difference at that point. However, going to be interesting to see if Wind and Rain, from qualifying for the Premiership to then getting relegated in the Prem the season after, wouldn't be the best result. Yeah, came second, obviously, last season. Uh, managed to get the Premier spot out of it, but not had the uh, best affair this time. Struggling here. But at least they are going to get a fourth round. And Dom does a bit of cooking. Very excited for the new Would you? What, what's your best dish that you can cook? Um, what, is he getting bleach? He might be bleaching out the pots. They look quite dirty. You, you wash your pots with bleach? What, are, you, are you mental? Look, mate. Look, mate. I would never come to have dinner at your house. Oh, he's sprayed in the sink. Oh, Wolfie's on his tail. Oh, he's wondering what he can smell. What's that cooking? Death. Chunks of death snods. That's what's stirred up in that pot. What, what is your best dish that you cook? Uh, I don't know. I like a steak. So, you know, maybe a steak. What Just steak's steak. your favourite? What cup? Steak dinner. Sirloin, fillet. Probably a nice little, uh, you know, rare sirloin. Yeah. Little, little bit of pepper sprinkled on top. No salt? Little bit of salt, maybe. Okay. It depends how you're feeling. Okay. You know. Yeah, 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 I get you. Five chips on the side. I like that. Just five. Yeah. From a fresh potato. <laughs> Aussie and Vanity find a nice little... Entry there, a starting point, you might say, with the AK. It's the return potentially back into this game as they need to get something going their way. It has been a real struggle. They've gone for a walk in the rain with their umbrella and they've fallen over multiple times. Do you know what's very interesting here, Jack? What? Either Vex get relegated. <laughs> oh, Vanity. Goodness, disgusting. Where was that the first half? Anyway, either Vex get relegated out of the Prem. Yep. Or Vex have bottom seed and they play versus the First seed in Group A, which is Endpoint. Yep. And it's singular no, limb. It? No, because fish have automatically gone through. No, but is it, that's just not how it works, is it? It is, it is, it is, it is. Oh, I don't know. Top two teams automatically qualify, and then it's a reshuffle the rest of them. The, the other three teams in each group. That way, there's six teams and playoffs. Citation needed. We'll um, <laughs> we'll have a breakdown at the end of the show. But I think that means Endpoint play versus Vexed for. The first round, which means either Vexed or Endpoint don't make it to the finals. You're not getting excited behind that? I don't know if that's how that works, though. Surely it does. I don't think it is. So we will uh, we'll have word on that probably tomorrow. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll have an exact answer. Yeah, we'll, so we'll you can on Twitter. Follow them for updates regarding who's getting demoted. I hope Vex do not get demoted. One of the best teams we have here, and obviously they've had one poor season. It would be a shame to see them go. Plus, I want to see Vex back at the LAN, full of top gents. Aussie, Quicks, Met Truth as well, sound guy. Well, Mace gets the first headshot. Annihilates Truth, Vanity as well, going to be able to take down Mace. It's 4v4 now into this one is Vex. They have to try and keep themselves alive here. They've got five rounds. They basically just have to have an entirely flawless half. Ten rounds on the trot from this position to take it to overtime is the only 
bit of success they can walk away with. They lose a single round, the Luminary will be flying out of here happy. Four versus four. As Vexter poised to eventually commit towards the B-bomb site. Resmo comes out towards CT. Solkas and Adam both holding the exact same angle here to, to, to just deny the push in coming from the T side as they all line up into the frags and the crosshair of Adam and Dom. However, Vanity still alive and kicking. Three frags into this round and to win it, he has to pull off the ace. Cray and Hype, no defuse kiss to work with. They have the Molotov and HE and Vanity already onto low HP. Vanity, oh, big tag there. Needs to be the ace to close it out. Molotov comes flying past him, but it was not meant to be. He is going to fall. Annihilated at the end there. 16 to 5. Luminary pick up the win. And Vex, unfortunately, miss out on getting that game under their belt. Well, well, well. What a quick map to finish off the day. 16 to 5. As we've seen three Inferno so far today. 16 to 4 victory for Endpoint. 16 to 10 victory for... I can't remember. My mind's gone blank. Amazing. Fish. And then obviously the...